So following on from the previous video, we were trying to work out the volume of a sphere, but rather than rather than summing up all the disks, we would uh, we would use a different method. We would sum up all the um, all the cylinders. Okay. So uh, so we're going to work out the volume of a sphere by summing up all the cylinders, and we uh, we got to this stage here where we had to um, where we had to integrate this thing here. Okay. So so when so to integrate this, um, your eyes should zoom into this. So currently, what you've got currently is this. You've got something to the power of a half. So, so to integrate to integrate this, you um you are looking for something that when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here, but with an x on the outside here. Okay. So, so your your initial guess should be should so so your initial guess over here should be um whether r squared minus x squared uh. So your initial guess, make our initial guess to be three over two. Okay, so so make this to be our initial our initial guess. So so when you differentiate this, it will give you. So the, when you differentiate this, it will give you uh, three over two, and then the bubble stays intact. So that would be this, and then uh, and then and then this thing gets minus by one, which happens to be a half here. So 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 far looking good because because when you when you uh, make this to be your initial guess, if you differentiate it, it will give you this. And what you've got at the moment is quite quite close to this. But don't don't forget when you differentiate this, you you would differentiate it, and that would then take you to here. But then you put it times with the derivative of the bubble itself. Well, the derivative of the bubble itself is um is minus two x. Okay, so um, so so uh, let's let's tidy this up. So what, if if you make this to be your initial guess, if you differentiate it, it will give you this. Um, this gets moved over to here, so that oh the two here will cancel out with this two here. So that will give you minus three, uh, and then the bubble itself. Hang on, uh, sorry, m minus three. Hang on, bear with me. Um, move. Move the whole bubble over to here. That so that would be minus three x because of this x here, and then uh, and then the bubble itself, um, r squared minus x squared, uh, a half m. So when you make this to be your initial guess, if you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. You see, this thing here is very close to this. In fact, it's exactly the same. You've got your x here, um, but the only thing that's different is. Um, is this minus three here? So, um, so, so let's make the adjustment to our initial guess. We should make the adjustment of negative a third. You see, if you make this now, if you make this to be your initial guess, negative a third in front. If you differentiate it, it will give you without the the negative three. Now, it would negate this negative three. This this negative a third will negate this negative three. So it will give you. It will give you what you want, which is this thing here. The point here is that if you integrate this, it will give you this thing here. Um, it will give you this thing here. So when you integrate it, it will give you it will give you this thing here. Okay. So so this is what we what we've got here. Okay. So now um, now evaluate this. So when when you put r um, when you put r into into the into here, and you see r squared, and then these two will can uh, these two here will cancel each other out, giving you zero. Zero to the power of this will be zero. Everything here will be zero. Okay, and then you've got minus. Now you've got to put zero into this thing here. So put putting zero into this thing here, then if you put zero into this thing here, this thing here will just become r squared. So that will be this thing here. R squared, but then you've got to power it to this thing here. So um, yeah, so so uh, this well blah blah um, blah blah. This thing here will become this thing here, uh, and then you've got a negative and a negative. So that will then take you to to this here. And don't forget when this times this. Okay, so so blah blah blah. Um, it's actually this times this thing that will then give you. To the power of three, okay. So um, blah blah, blah 
Um, don't forget, ha don't forget it was half of a uh, sphere. Half of a sphere equals this. Um, it, it was half of a sphere all all along. Okay, because we we wanted to only concentrate on half of the sphere because it's much easier to um, to to evaluate it. With, well, it, it was half of a sphere all all along. So now the whole sphere would be this times both sides by two. That would then give you this. So so the volume of the sphere by summing up all the cylinders would give you this, which is consistent with um, with the formula of a sphere. Okay.